Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I have a, a wonderful guest, Michelle Fabrica, our love and relationship coach. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Art. Hi, John. Great to be here Hi. with you both. Uh, our pleasure. Michelle, what do you got for us today? You always have such interesting subjects. What do we got? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, today I want to talk about just how to become more yourself. And what I mean by that is like more of who you truly are. And at the risk of sounding a little woo-woo, I'm going to explain a little more. But but basically, I, I have the you know belief, and there's a cliche, right, that as we get older, we can get more set in our ways and we can get more opinionated and more sort of, um, you know, needing things to be a certain way, yes. more rigid. Yep, that does seem and, true. Yeah, and it's like, sometimes that can be true. And I don't know what your experience of that has been, but what has your experience of that been? <laughs> mm. no, I think that's pretty common. Um, Maybe you're more sure of yourself, or maybe you're maybe it's a habit. You just I, I think of going to a restaurant. There was a one restaurant I went to. Um, I'll think of the name of it, but it's the, the important thing is I ordered this exact same thing every <laughs> single time. Yeah, for yeah, years. yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, just, John, you have to admit that uh, as we've grown older, we've discussed this before, you and I, like uh, the old song, have become perfect in every way. <laughs> I mean, you know, why mess with perfection? That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. right. I, it's not a look. It's a cliche because it's so common. I think. Right. 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 And I guess I mean I think there are some ways that yeah we get more sure of ourselves. We more of what you know what's important to us, what's not important to us. Obviously, things can change over time. But I think there's another path that is interesting to imagine or explore is to become less attached to our identity about who we are. So, you know, we're our jobs or our roles or, you know, the kind of person who, you know, this or that. And it's like, if we become too kind of, I don't know, calcified even, we aren't really open to like expansion and growth. And um, I think that's kind of what I want to play with a little bit today is invite us to look at this and see, wow, you know, because I mean, I see you two vibrant, you know, men living your life, you know, it's like you're not just getting, in my opinion, from what I see of you, set in your ways and, and more, you know, whatever, it, crotchety is the word, but that's not a nice word. But, you know, there's, there's, li there's a liveness and there's growth. And I think that's part of what I'm trying to talk about here and bring to our, you know, as to our, our viewers. Well, that makes a lot of sense because if you are, you know, stuck in a rut, is another way to put it, um, you can't grow. You can't change. You're just going to, you know, it's Groundhog Day for you. Right. Mm. I'm, 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 I'd like to add ahead. something is that I'm, 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 uh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion for having been referred to as not crotchety. Uh, <laughs> It's the first time uh, I've, I've been recognized for a skill set uh, of being not crotchety, and thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I catch myself, you know, my, part my partner Dave and I catch ourselves just like, eh, you know, like a little bit like, I don't want to, no, that's always like this, or it, yeah, it's right. just like, wait a second, can I have, you know, in, in, in Zen, right, they talk about beginner's eyes and seeing things just like as a person who's never seen something before, yeah. see it, experience right. it. And um, so I, I'm kind of talking about like allowing that to, to be your experience in some situation. Maybe it's about imagining your younger self. Um, I know we had another video, you know, on acting your, on not acting your age, <laughs> but right. like, you know, the playfulness, the goofiness, yeah. um, you know, take yourself and your partner less seriously. You know, if, if you have any, this is for, you know, single people too, like, you know, bring in the fun, bring in the crazy. And, um, sure. uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like easy to say, but like, how do you, you know, it's like, it, it takes like, um, like an intention or a deliberateness to rem like bring that in, you know? Yep. You have to try something new, even if you don't think you're going to like it, you got to try it just for the experience. 
Yeah, also, also, uh, John and I both knew uh, somebody, a good friend of mine, originally that John uh, got to know uh, reasonably well, uh, Vince McCullough, who recently passed. Uh, right. But he was my Tai Chi coach and a good friend. And we would practice Tai Chi at least once a week and uh, mm -hmm. normally in larger groups. And he would always be saying at some point in an hour long session that we would have is we've been doing a routine that we've done a hundred, a thousand, he 10,000 times before. And he says, and when I'm doing this movement and he shows the movement, he says, I want you to be thinking about you've done it a thousand times, but this is the first time you've done this moment in this way at this moment and look at it even something that is very familiar. And uh, I do that not as often as probably as I should to savor each movement because it is really quite different in the moment. Yeah, I love that. Um, I think, yeah, it's easy to just sort of, you know, kind of go by habit, go by mm -hmm. rote, you do this, you do that. You see the person who lives in your home with you, you see them every day, you know, whatever, but you know, you know, bring in some games, bring in some, you know, play charades, I don't know, strip poker, you know, if you were a superhero, what would your name be? You know, what would your powers be? Like, just, I don't know, I've, I've been watching a lot of stand up lately, and I'm enjoying just the riff that someone can do on just regular light. And so, you know, just, you know, mind the humor of your own experience of your own day and, and yeah. share that. And, um, and and like you said, John, like just experiment, do some experiments. Yeah, I I love what you said about growth. Uh, uh, you know, you're never too old to grow, to grow and to change. It's not necessarily um, doing something you don't like. It's experimenting to find new things that you do like. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes it'll be like, oh, well, that was cool, but not that interesting to me. Hey, you did it. it you know, it was yeah. it brought you something, and um, so it's um, yeah, it's like how can we expand our world a little more rather than just you know let it close down on us? And it yeah. just there's um, th there's a lot of joy out there to be experienced. Yeah, yeah. Well, growth is growth is important at every age, and. Uh, I think that's what you're really talking about is don't just become the same old you. Yeah, set in your ways. <laughs> set, set in your yeah. ways. And yeah. uh, so I think I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to break with tradition. I'm going to take failure by the horns and say, I don't care. Um, nah, wait, I was going to ask my wife to take out the garbage. That's my job. So I will let that <laughs> we'll let that one go. But no, um, you it's it's always wonderful to experience, uh, like Vince would say, that that same thing you've done a thousand times, and just view it in a in a new way. Maybe you'll find something new about it, why you liked it, or or, or how you might want to change it a little bit. But we do get set in our ways, and not always a bad thing. Uh, you know, the kind of food you like. Like John, you say you order the same thing when you go to that restaurant every time. You obviously enjoy it. Not anymore. But you don't enjoy Ooh. it anymore. You don't. The restaurant <laughs> closed. What happened? No, I. <laughs> I tried different things. Oh, oh. Italian. Well, there you there you go. <laughs> Italian restaurant, John. No, actually, I remember the name. It's the Pancake House. Oh, yeah. 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 And for, for those in the in the southeast, Waffle House. Okay. That's where <laughs> that's the where Waffle House. Really? Michelle, this has been great. Uh thank you. I think I've grown during this video. <laughs> and I think I've seen our relationship in a slightly different way, even though it hasn't changed but in a slightly different way. So thank you for sharing yourself with us. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.